So let's see how to do it here. This is based upon a skill I've learned from Dave Moxon in his Articulate eLearning blog, and there's a link to, for you here. Essentially, I take any video file, so be it a screener MP4 file or a flip video file, and using Articulate Encoder, I remove the audio by setting the volume to minus 100%. You can also resize it and add a logo if you've required. So I've already done this step, and the remaining steps we're going to see how to do that now. So I've got a pre-set up slide and I've taken the text here and under animation, custom animation, I've added effects so that um, these slides will come in when clicked. So if I play this, one slide, next and next, so these will come in as clicked. So going back to Articulate, what I want to do now is I want to insert the Flash movie, the FLV file that I've previously created. And here's a preview, it's only seven seconds long. I'm going to display it in the slide and uh, when the user clicks next is when I want it to advance to the next slide. So I can have my audio narration longer than the video file. It inserts it here and I can move this around. So you should play around with the positioning of your, uh, your text that you want animated and synced with your movie. Once we've that done, we can click to record our narration, which is the next step. So we can click on start recording and when I do this the movie will automatically start to play. And you can click on next animation. So I'll be giving them a voice over, clicking on next animation, next animation and next animation and stop recording. So now I have my animations synced in and I would click to add, um, I can resync the animations if I wish. So I can start the sync and put in the next animation next animation, next animation, and stop sync. So I can re-time these if I wish. And I can also go to add annotations. So I can add annotations to the movie. So I'm just going to use some arrows here maybe. I'll put in some arrows and let them stay on the screen. So start annotation. And I can add my annotations. I can pause and change it maybe to clear all. And I'll put in an X as well. Resume. So, so my annotations have now been recorded and I'm going to... So all that remains for me to do is to save and close this and then simply to publish. And you'll see the resulting published file from, this, from the other link here.